For problems like this, where our function is defined to be an integral from some constant up to x, but the function on the inside of the integral, the integrand, is in terms of t, and we're integrating with respect to t, so we have a dt at the end here, we really rely on the fundamental theorem of calculus, which says the same situation, in this case we have a of x on the left-hand side, is defined to be from some constant a to x of f of t dt. Well, when we do these, we want to think about if we take the derivative of the left-hand side, we're going to get a prime of x, or in our case, f prime of x. And we're taking the derivative of the right-hand side also, so we have the derivative with respect to x of this integral. And remember, taking derivatives and integrating are kind of inverse operations of one another. They're opposites. So what ends up happening is we get whatever the integrand was, the f of t, but it's just going to be in terms of x. That's the thing to remember in this case. So as we think about this, we're going to uh, work our problem up at the top here. Basically, we get whatever's on the inside here. That's going to be our derivative, but we're going to replace each of the t's with x's. So f prime of x is going to be x to the third power plus 6x squared plus 5. So not that difficult, right? Just remember, it's whatever's on the inside there, but you replace the t's with x's. Next, let's go ahead and evaluate f prime of 2. So not too bad. It's just going to really replace each of the x's in our derivative with 2's. Then we'll do some simplifying down here. So we have, what, 8 is 2 cubed plus 6 times 4 makes 24 plus 5. So we have 8 plus 24 is 32 plus 5 more works out to be 37 in our situation. Next, let's go ahead and figure out what is f double prime of x. So f double prime, we're going to rely on the first derivative and use the power rule to take its derivative. So the 3 comes down in front. Then we reduce the exponent by 1. So we do a 3 minus 1 makes 2. Next up, we have plus 6 times um, the derivative of x squared. The 2 is going to come down. We're going to reduce the exponent by 1. So our new exponent is going to be a 1 on the x. And then the derivative of the 5, the constant, is going to be 0. We could simplify this to 3x squared plus 12x. That's our second derivative. And then evaluating our second derivative, we'll replace each of the x's with, in this case, a 3. So it's going to be 3 times 3 squared plus 12 times 3. So this works out to be 3 times 9 makes 27 plus 12 times 3 is 36. And then what does that work out to be? 63 overall. All right. Um, so hopefully not too bad. The first step really is just understanding that you replace whatever's in the integrand again. That's going to be the derivative, but replace each of the t's with x's. All right. Hope this helps. Good luck as you're working on these.